Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're diving into the one of the most essential features of Procreate, and that's the layers. Whether you're a complete newbie or just need a refresher, this tutorial will help you understand how to use the layers more effectively to enhance your digital art making experience. We'll cover everything from the basics of creating and managing layers to the more advanced tips like using layer masks and blending modes and clipping masks. So you may ask, what are these layers anyway? Just think of layers as a transparent sheet um, stacked up on each other, on top of each other, on your desk or somewhere else. If you had one on the bottom and put one on top and one on top and one on top, the one on the bottom is still there and it's the original layer that you've had all along. So um, the layers are um, there to allow you to work on different elements of your artwork independently of one another. Let's open a Procreate document, a canvas, Go out to your, this is your gallery section. Click on the plus. I'm gonna open a 10 by 10 inch document. And we're gonna see up in the right hand corner here, two little squares on top of one another and that's the icon for the layers panel. It's located here to very easily um, al allow you to just click on it with your Apple Pencil or your uh, finger. Um, and a flyout menu will come out when you click on that in the plus there's a plus sign in the corner click on that and you'll get another layer above that keep adding layers and every um, iPad will have a different amount of layers that are allowed in uh, depending upon the size and the size of your um, of your iPad so my layers may not match your layers for this size. It's all dependent upon how big your screen is and how much um, space you have on your, on your iPad. So the layers um, can easily be renamed by toggling on a layer. When you're on that layer, it turns blue. Click on the word layer, you can rename it. You can tap on it and rename it. I'll just rename it layer and then click anywhere off of it to come out. You can uh, rearrange the layers. You can move the layer. If I wanted this layer to be above that layer, I could put it above it or move it back below it. One other thing that you can do with layers that's interesting is if I put something on this first layer, let's say I put this and on the second layer I added something like this the layers aren't very easy to draw so these two shapes are on se separate layers, I can um, merge the layers to make one shape by clicking on them. And now they're one, uh, one object. They're no longer editable when that happens. So we'll delete that. Okay, let's talk about clipping masks and layer masks. When um, you want to put some artwork on top of one of your shapes. There are a couple of different ways that you can do it. Let's talk about the clipping mask first. If I go to my layers panel, you'll see that I've stamped on a little shape of a tree or a leaf. And the layer above it, I've added some stripes. And the way to make the stripes um, be integrated into the shape underneath it is to create a clipping mask. So to clip on, to click on that layer, click it and then find clipping mask and it is now merged with the layer beneath it but still fully editable. If I wanted to move it, I can go up to the move tool over here and move it around. I can also go into the layer that it is on and reduce its opacity. And I can also work with what's called blending modes. The blending modes um, are underneath it. And as you flick through the different blending modes, it affects 
the color and the texture of um, these two elements together. So have a play with them. They're really fun and can give you some interesting uh, results. Um, and you can just do a lot of different things with them, but they take practice. Okay, so next I wanna talk a little bit about my other favorite, which is called the layer mask. Layer masks work a little bit differently. I have my little tree again, and above it I've created some dots, some pink dots. And let's say that I really want to get rid of the, some of the dots, edit them out in some way. Uh, another non-destructive way to do this is to um, use a layer mask. So what I'm gonna do is click on the layer with the dots, and go to mask, click on mask. And within that mask layer, I'm on the mask layer. Uh, you have to remember this little, these two little phrases, black conceals and white reveals. If I go to a black, pure black, which is uh, in your uh, brushes, your color profile here, it's all the way down in this square corner here. It's gotta be pure black or gray won't work it will not get rid of um, all the, all the uh, image. So it's gotta be pure black and pure white. So I'm on my pure black and I can go and just paint out the ones that I don't want. And so you see in the corner here, what I've painted in black is shows up here, but they all are still there underneath. So let's say I'm gonna do the reverse now. I wanna bring them back, go up to white, pure white, and then paint them back in. Let me make my brush a little bigger. That's another method. So this can be used in a lot of different ways. This, these masking techniques are um, a lot of fun to, to use and to understand. So the way to delete the mask, if you decided you don't want a layer mask, slide it to the left and delete it. And everything is still there. So these two methods are fully, make your work fully editable and they are non-destructive uh, non methods to um, protect your layers. Okay, that's it for clipping masks and layer masks. Okay, let's talk about how to put what we've learned into action. Um, I've created a little, very simple little drawing of a vase and two flowers um, within a, this is about a 10 by 10 inch square. And I've created a layer for um, what looks like a table underneath it. Let's look at the layers a little bit and practice um, understanding um, what, what they are and how to understand the layers panel. If you look at this layer, we have a background color which is toggled on. Let's toggle it off and you'll see that it disappears. I have a layer, this yellow is toggled on, then toggled off. Now notice that it is underneath the vase, but if we were to move that, we can move it by um, clicking on it, and then you can use your finger or your, um, your Apple Pencil. Of course, it's not gonna do it. Move it by lifting it. Now that would put it above the vase, so you know that perhaps that's what you want or it's not what you want, but you have free reign to move these transparent little layers of paper all around. Just think of it as rearranging papers on your desk. So we have the vase and we have the two flowers. Right now they're not labeled as anything, but we can change the um, layer by, we're gonna rename it and we're gonna call this table. That's already background, the one underneath it. So click anywhere out of it. This one we'll call base. This one we'll call 
We'll click on the orange flower, rename it. We're going to rename it orange flower. And this one we'll rename blue flower. Easy peasy. Okay, so now we, we're cooking. We're cooking with gas here. We've got um, a lot more organization to our layers. Let's add. Go into use. Try and find some textures. If we go out and we press the brush layer, we can go all the way down into the um, basic brushes that come with Procreate and look for maybe in the texture section. We can use something like the grid. We can use the grid to, um, we're gonna click on the grid. We're gonna use that as maybe the tabletop. So we're gonna click on the table. We'll add a layer above it. Uh, maybe we'll make it this pink color. Let's see if I can get this to be a little bit bigger. Okay, so in that layer above, I've got like, now I've got this checkerboard going on with my um, little tablecloth, but I want to um, put it into, right into, do a clipping mask. So we'll click on that layer, click, clip, 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 click, clipping mask. That's a tongue twister. So we've got our, um, checkerboard there. Now, suppose we want to change the blending mode. We can go in and uh, figure out some different options with the blending mode. A screen gives it a little bit more of a subtle effect. I kind of like that. Add makes it sort of white. That's kind of nice. Overlay, it's a little softer. Hard light, vivid light, and so forth. So mess around. We can mess around with that a little bit. So I'm going to stay with, uh, perhaps I'll just stay with screen because it's subtle. Okay, next the vase, we're going to add a layer above it and we're going to go hunt for some texture. I think I like these circles. So in the textures area again, look, it's called decimals. So we're going to pick another color. Maybe this one, I'll use this, this lighter purple. I'm above that layer and I'm gonna just begin to paint on some texture. That's fun. And so I am gonna clip that onto my base and it's not coming out of the edges but it makes me kind of think it's blending into the background. So I might want to just mess around with my, my background color. Oops. Okay, next, I can't seem to find the, I was trying to figure out what, what happened there. I had a blending mode on the vase. So if I now change the background color, it looks a little bit better. Okay, so um, let's work on the flowers. Uh, I am gonna use another color perhaps for the, let's work on the orange flower and maybe we'll put yellow in the orange flower. We're going to go back out to our textures. Maybe we would just use a little bit of um, this one called Rosette. We're going to do a layer above the orange flower. And we're going to add some of that texture. And we're going to do a clipping mask. And it gives us a little bit too dense, I think, but uh, let's try this diagonal. I like that, that's fun. We'll use the diagonal and we'll do the same thing. We're gonna click on that layer and add a clipping mask. 
Okay, and now lastly, we're gonna do the blue flower. Maybe I'll do a little bit of something orange on that blue flower. And we can add a little bit of grunge. What's that like? Oh, I like that, okay. So the grunge, we can maybe add some grunge. I'm gonna add a layer on top of that blue flower. And then I think I'm just gonna tap a little of it so that it's kind of subtle. Well, maybe less, more, there you go, less subtle. And then we're gonna um, add a clipping mask. And this is where I might really work with blending modes because that looks sort of, um, a little too intense for my taste. Um, we can do multiply. I see if we did the color burn and then turned it down a little bit, it's a little bit more subtle. So we can turn down the opacity to make it a little bit, um, a little bit more subtle. And you get to play with this in any number of ways. So there's a simple exercise um, to help you understand how to work with these um, layers and different uh, blending modes in Procreate. So today we covered the basics of layers, managing them, and even a few a little uh, techniques with the blending modes and the clipping masks. So if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Procreate tips and tutorials. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to learn next and check out my other Procreate tutorials and I'll see you in the next video.